Om Nityananda Paramashi Boham. Nityam guys, welcoming you back with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Shri Nityananda Paramashivam. In today's video, um, I want to share the understandings and the kind of cognitive shift which, has, uh, which is happening in me since uh, Swamiji has, introdu has introduced me and initiated me into the Paramashivoham principle. So, um, Paramashivoham means, Parama means ultimate, Shiva means Shiva, the super consciousness, Oham means I am. So it basically means that I am the ultimate Shiva or I am the ultimate super consciousness. Now, why is it so important to realize that? Not only as an understanding, but to turn this understanding as a cognition. A cognition means the fundamental principle from which you exist, you operate, you make your conscious decisions. Um, super consciousness or consciousness in the Hindu scriptures, um, I can refer to, for instance, the first sloka of the Ishavasya Upanishad, Ishavasyam um, idatgum sarvam. So, it refers to Consciousness is all-powerful, it is all-pervading. Consciousness is everywhere. There's another sloka which says that wherever the mind goes, the mind is very, the senses are very fast, and wherever the mind goes, consciousness is already there. So it just shows how consciousness is the ultimate, and it is within everything. If you are consciousness, and consciousness is within everything, then it's only a you relating to you. Of course, not the you that you know as you, but the you that you truly are relating to you. That's why Swamiji says, um, Shiva uh, became many to enjoy himself. And he was also saying that um, creation, big bangs, and when he was talking about Kala, um, he was saying black holes and big bangs happen within itself. So it's like an explosion inside of consciousness, an implosion inside of consciousness, because consciousness is everywhere. So Paramashivam is a Mahavakya, it's a it's a it's it's ultimate powerful cognition saying that you are that super consciousness. The more you contemplate on that, the more you imbibe that, the more you turn that into a cognition, the more you realize that truth, that Mahavakya, Om Nityananda Paramashivam. You, your fears will melt down. Fear is the, ultimate, is the only reason why we cherish uh, duality. As long as we cherish duality, we cherish some form of fear. Um, ultimately, all fears are born are, uh, from the fear of death. And, um, but, but either way, it is fear. And fear happens only if you cognize that there is something outside of you which can hurt you. So that cognition means that you do not cognize superconsciousness. You do, you do not cognize Shiva or Shivoham or Paramashivoham. If you, if you start to cognize Paramashivoham, then you know it is just you relating to, we can say, an unknown if we operate from the way we operate from an unknown dimension of you. A person you meet in the street is a, is a manifestation of an unknown dimension of you. But the source of that being and the source of you, the deluded you, is consciousness. So end of the day, it is one and the same. And when you cognize that, then there's no need to cherish any form of fear then we become very friendly, we become, you know, very compassionate, very helpful, very everything. All the auspicious qualities start to radiate. And it is so important to cognize that. Um, Hinduism is all about you realizing you are consciousness. Hinduism is all about compassion, about non-violence. It is about educating. Will persistence means never giving up, keep on, keep on, standing, standing, standing for Dharma, for the truth, for 
Shiva for Godel. Um, so, so it's so important to turn that as a cognition. Now, what I understood by being with Swamiji for a few for a few years that I've been with him uh, so far is that everything you do, you should remember Paramashivoham somehow. When you engage with somebody, you should engage from the, some, from the context, oh yes, it is Paramashivoham space, means it's a reflection of my consciousness or it's an expression of the same consciousness which is sitting inside of me. And from that context, making decisions of how you're going to engage with that person. Um, in everything that you do, in every, every, every decision you make in your life, and that is going to help a lot to heal the violence which is the result of the fear that we cherish because we do not, because we forget, we avoid to remember. Um, yes, in Gurukul, we, Swamiji is, has taught how to use the right words, words which, which will bring the power back to you. Avoiding to remember. So if you avoid to remember that you are consciousness, then you will have this form of fear which will then, which can, which will then manifest in various ways. Um, any form of greed, any form of anxiety, any, any form of anger, all these things are just um, layers or more superficial layers of the fundamental fear that we cherish as long as we do, as long as we avoid remembering that we are super consciousness. Yes, yeah, so that's what I want. Um, that's what I want to share with you uh, guys in this video. Um, I hope it helps you. One of the main things, especially today, as you guys might know, there's a lot of hatred out there. And uh, being able to identify the hatred and being able to understand and have the right cognition to respond to it, to engage with it, or to not engage with it. <laughs> so whatever it is, Paramashivoham is the Mahavakya. Om Nityananda Paramashivoham. So I'm just saying, Om is the ultimate, is the sound of, of pure consciousness. Nityananda means eternal bliss, and it also refers to Guru, Swamiji, who uh, Paramashiva says he manifests in the life of a sincere seeker as a Guru. So through the Guru, Shiva introduces himself to you. Himself means Paramashivoham, you are that Paramashiva. So you are introduced to that ultimate reality through the Guru. So Om Nityananda Paramashivoham. So that's what I want to share with you guys in this video. I'll see you guys in another video. Subscribe, like, check the description below. I have a lot of interesting stuff, whether it is Haritaki challenge, for those who have not yet implemented Haritaki in your life, have a look. Um, there's a Bhagavad Gita description by Swamiji. There's the Power Manifestation Science, uh, Nityananda Nyana Padadi, and uh, Guru Gita and other stuff as well. So uh, yes, and uh, stay tuned soon i'm going to release a song a song in tamil so yes i'm working on it i'm working on the video now a little bit it's you know it's taking a little bit more time a lot of trial and errors because uh don't have a professional studio but <laughs> yes so with this i'll see you guys in the next episode